Coming up, we'll be talking about the Acolytes potential Disney Plus release, also a bit of an update on some Marvel projects and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys. So let's start off talking about the Acolyte, a brand new Star Wars series which is set to arrive on Disney Plus later this year. And according to Collider, they are suggesting that this new series is going to be dropping onto Disney Plus this summer, and more precisely, on June the 5th. Now, it's very important to note that this release date has not been officially announced. This could change. Things might move around. It could go either side. Don't take this to the bank just yet. It's not official, but we have heard about it being out in the summer and this kind of would make sense then because you'd have it out for June and July with like, obviously with new weekly releases. Saw a little bit of this series at last year's Star Wars Celebration. Looked fantastic, it is set um, way before the Phantom Menace so it's kind of away from the Skywalker genre area and I think that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, whether or not we see anything of this series um, pretty soon, whether or not they do so maybe in April time, um, or maybe they just hold off till May 4th, but then that would maybe only give them about a month. But I mean, that's the kind of thing with these shows. I don't think necessarily with Disney Plus, they need to announce things so far in advance. Um, but obviously right now we've got Star Wars, The Bad Batch, we're getting new episodes drop every week, um, right through till the beginning of May. So that would probably maybe be about the right time then to kind of put this one out there. Did watch um, three episodes of The Bad Batch season three this morning, really enjoying it. Great show. I'm still a little bit like lukewarm on the series as a whole, but um, I'm hoping that this one's gonna finish off on a good note. But yeah, so again, potential release date. It could still change. I think as well, we've putting that out in June, that works out good for the summer. And then with the full release for Agatha Dark Hole Diaries, we can then see probably Skeleton Crew dropping at the tail end of the year, which I think would make sense. Spread it out a little bit more. As I said, we're only getting two series this year. Um, in live action, and I think, yeah, to space them out a little bit is probably good. But are you excited about the new Acolyte series? Let me know in the comments below. Speaking of Agatha Darkhold Diaries, we got a little bit of an update. There was an article on The Hollywood Reporter giving us a little bit of some updates on some projects, including Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Now, earlier this year, they did do some reshoots on the series. They had planned to do five days of reshoots. But apparently they only needed one, and there was a bit of a sunny outlook on the series as a whole um, from what they've seen so far, and they're looking forward to it when it arrives on Disney Plus in the fall. Um, that's good. I mean, Marvel always scheduled for having reshoots and doing bits extra. That's, that's something that they plan to do, um, but the fact that they only needed to do one day out of five, they're obviously happy with it, and that's a good thing. Um, I think this one was a little bit different in terms of like, because of the actors and writers strikes, it meant that everyone kind of got stopped. But they managed to just wrap it just before the strike started. So they had pretty much most of the last year then to kind of work on doing all the editing and pacing and getting everything sorted. So they probably had a better idea of what they needed because they would probably had most of it sorted out. But yeah, that'll be coming out this coming fall on Disney Plus and that's gonna be the only major new live action series for Marvel coming this year. Obviously we're getting X-Men and a new Spider-Man cartoon but yeah, so that's going to be a big one. Also in the same article from The Hollywood Reporter, kind of gave you a little bit of an update on Avengers Kang Dynasty, which is set to come out in May of 2026. Apparently the Kang Dynasty name is not happening. They're going to be moving away from that on there. They had started planning on moving away from Kang after the disastrous box office results of Ant-Man, Wasp, uh, Quantumania. I mean, not surprisingly, just people just weren't connecting with it. And that might be why they kind of almost wrap things up a little bit in the uh, the season finale of uh, Loki. But yeah, apparently they decided that they were going to slightly go in a different direction. And with this, the whole issue with Jonathan Majors being in court, and then obviously once he got convicted, they ended up dropping him. Um, he could still end up being the villain, or they could just pivot and go somewhere else. Um, kind of in this weird zone, I think, you know, with um, the idea of what they're doing with the MCU. You're going to have to try and sort things out, move things around a little bit, and try and get this kind of phase on track. I mean, it does feel like a minute we're not really going to go in main direction, and Kang wasn't really, I don't think, a strong enough villain. But who they bring in, don't know, maybe it's, you know, I mean, lots of reports, you know, maybe they recast, or they bring in Doctor Doom, or do something completely different. But, I mean, I wouldn't be at all, I would be quite happy if they brought Thanos back and just did, like, you know, oh, this was a fan of an alternative universe or something like that and just set up those last two Secret War movies. But yeah, so that's that on there. 
Also with Thunderbolts, I'm just going through some rewrites and stuff, um, but they're looking to start filming that next month. Um, so that's looking pretty good with Thunderbolts. Um, yeah, so all pretty good at the minute. It was also revealed by Mark Ruffalo that he, that he thinks the kind of the slowdown of Marvel is a good thing. You know, he said like they used to be far apart and now they're all the time. And he, they, you know, the big boost of streaming was good. But he also feels that because of the cuts and everything happening, they're probably less likely now to do a Hulk film because he's just kind of too expensive. He kind of says he's outpriced himself. Well, I think, you know, you can, it's one of the great things with the Hulk is at least you can bring him in as Bruce Banner and have him do a little cameos and stuff here and there. It's a lot cheaper for them to do. But yeah, it's a little bit of an update on Marvel. But let us know what you think of this in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts on all the Marvel stuff. But let's now move on to another superhero story. This one is about Extraordinary. This one is going to be dropping onto Hulu in the United States and on Disney Plus around the world on March the 6th, the second season. It yeah, just dropped the trailer. This is a British comedy. Um, it's, I really enjoyed the first season. Um, I thought it was great. Um, the, the, the trailer for the second one just leans in more on the silliness and the daftness of it being a comedy and the impacts of what would happen if everybody had superpowers but everyone's just doing different things and some of them are really random. Um, if you like the first season, look forward to the second one and I'll be telling you um, my thoughts on the series when it just before it comes out um, on March the 6th. But looking forward to that one, let me know in the comments below. In our question of the day, which comes from Moody, who says the Spiderwick Chronicles trailer has recently been released and it looks really good. Why do you think Disney didn't want it when it makes sense for them just to release it, especially with them cutting down on projects? So so I wanted to talk about this one anyway today. So this kind of worked out quite nicely. Yeah, so Roku has released the trailer for the series coming out in April in the US on the Roku devices. Um, so we kind of got the first sort of teaser trailer released as part of IGN's Fan Fest. You, you say it looks good. I thought it looked pretty like meh. And that is the big reason why Disney does not want it. It is meh. It just, it's not gonna set tongues waggling, it's not gonna get people talking, it's not gonna get the viewers in. And therefore, they looked at this and went, this is just gonna, it's just not up to, maybe it's not up to our quality, or we can just sell this or do something with it. it it's just not good enough. That's the first warning sign about this series. The second warning sign is that even Paramount, who were co-creating the series, also didn't want it for Paramount Plus. Now obviously they're going, through their own issues, but you're telling me that both Disney and Paramount, who made this series, turned around and was like, well, we don't like this, we don't think it's very good, we're gonna sell it. And Roku have picked it up. Netflix didn't want it, Amazon didn't want it, but Roku. I, that says, that's all you really need to know is that Roku picked it up um, and Disney and Paramount didn't want it. That's that's a warning enough to me. Um, I thought the trailer looked, it looked, just looked so generic and the special effects at the beginning looked good, but as the as that trailer went on, they were getting ropey and ropey. That whole one with him like being invisible at the back, that just looked awful. Um, yeah, so the, I, I'm not gonna bother checking it out. It just, I mean, I don't even know where it's gonna end up. It's gonna be, Distributed by Paramount here in the U, in like internationally, but whether or not they're selling it on to somebody else, I don't know. But yeah, that trailer for me was the exact opposite. It just said to me instantly, okay, um, yeah, this is not. I mean, looking at the comments as well of the trailer, most people are just not liking the look of it. It and also there is that problem as well. We know that it has been sold on. So therefore, the chance there is no chance of it getting a second series unless Roku really liked it and it does amazing numbers. At which point, then they're going to have to pay. I just don't think Disney are uh, they're going to want to do it. So as you said, they've been cutting back on what they're spending and all the rest of it. They just rather than write this thing off, they managed to sell it to make a little bit of money or maybe even just cover the cost. So this hasn't cost them the same, but. Yeah, it's, it is interesting how everyone looks at this trailer. Let us know. Did you like the look of the Spiderwick Chronicles series? What did you think of that trailer? Love to hear your thoughts on all of that. Leave us a question if it's really good. I'll pick it out for tomorrow's video. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.